Hello everybody. This is so exciting. I I can I can handle it. This is coming. He's coming so soon. So I just make this very quick vid video about the rapture. Not much I know, but but I know I have to share, and it will help you. Okay. And then the next I will do is the three days of darkness. Please listen to that. That's important that you know about it. And um. Now about the rapture. Um, that is coming on as the either the Feast of Tabernacle or the Feast of Trumpet. The opinions of men are dividing between the two. Perry Stone says it must be on the second between the second and the fourth, which is the Feast of Trumpet, and also that is a feast of um, marriage, and and so there are Jewish holidays associated with that, and he is very knowledgeable on those. And the Lord said to one of the prophets that he is coming in Rosh Hashanah. So that would support Peristone statements. And to those of you who do not know Peristone, he, all, all he knows is the Bible. He's a walking Bible, fourth generational pastor. Never seen anything else. He lives in the kingdom from birth. So he is really knowledgeable. He has a lot of knowledge. Very well informed of all the Jewish holidays and everything. So... He, his voice is well known in the Christian community. You can easily find his teachings online. He's insisting that it should be between the second and the fourth. And then uh, that prophecy, which I said prophecies received Rosh Hashanah, that was years ago. She has a lot of prophecies up and also very credible. Her ministry is Almighty Winds, and I'm going to just put a link to one of her videos that leads you to her channel, and she has an amazing video up, actually for a while now, which says, devastation is coming, devastation is here. So if you want to see, get a taste of what's coming tomorrow, that's the video to watch. I don't know if you can bear it even just to watch it. I think she's a very powerful and clear voice. I mean, as a vessel of the Lord, and I wait in anticipation to see if she might be one of the two witnesses. That's just my discernment. I don't know nothing about it, but keep your eye on that. Things may change. But, you know, not every prophecy is fulfilled, but she heard it. She heard it accurately. And then you may know much more than I do, because if you watch videos on YouTube, there are a whole lot of them. Everyone is testifying to one of the signs. Yeah, just I remember seeing this lady, Rhonda, and, and her husband saw a sign in the skies in a dream of vision, and there was like a light, red light, up in the sky, like a belt, like a, you know, like a rainbow, or I, I don't know how to describe it. I think it's like a red horizon, a strong light, all the way through the horizon, and all the way through the sky, not a small thing. But that is a sign. The Lord said He will give a sign of His when before He is coming, and the Christians will know that it's Him. So watch for the signs upon the skies when when is due time, which is very soon. Okay, um, back to the message. So see, I'm patching this together, so the voice quality is changing accordingly. Forgive me for that because it's up and down, and I that's the most time-consuming thing to try to make it right so I'm not gonna do that this time because then it's not gonna be ready 
just release it as is raw. <laughs> oh, praise God, hallelujah. October the 2nd is the Jewish New Year, that's Rosh Hashanah, so that is also a valid point that the Lord may come at Rosh Hashanah. But other people have seen dreams and visions for the rapture coming at the time of a full moon. They have seen themselves going up and there was full moon. Now full moon is coming on the 16th and the Feast of Tabernacles starts on the 17th of October. In fact, it starts on the 16th at sundown, it's the same time. So these are the times I receive for the time of the rapture, and I cannot tell when it's going to be. I cannot tell at all. Both of them are reasonable, and we need to be ready every moment, and I'm not even going to try to make an attempt to, to set a possible date for that. Not even a time frame, because surely he is coming during this feast. He is coming during the fall festival. So which day he is coming, it doesn't make really much difference if you're ready, because it's so close. Now, listen, I remember the Lord said to one of the ministry that, help me Jesus how you worded it. Okay, when the Dome of the Rock in, in Jerusalem will be attacked and destroyed because it will be leveled down, then get down on your knees and start praying and drop everything because that is the time. He said that. And then another sweet sister, I remember saying that when Miami will be attacked or bombed or destroyed, I don't know what, what exactly will happen in Miami, something major, and it's going to be man, uh, men's uh, you know, evil work, not of nature to my understanding. Then... She saw an angel in the dream, and the angel told her that the rapture is coming within a week. And then she kind of like fell back to another dream, and the angel came back and said the rapture is in 24 hours. You know, she didn't know better how to interpret it. It was like giving her a closer time frame from that event. I'm just giving this to you so whenever, whatever is coming, then you remember this and recognize it then you know what time is it. Now spend the rest of your time on this earth preparing for the rapture. Once you could recoup from the uh, devastation of tomorrow, just enough to give glory to God that you have survived and give him thanks, start preparing for the rapture. Yes, praise you Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Start preparing for the wedding, get your dress, Oh my God, so, but listen, no matter how this day of the Lord works out, this is going to be our golden opportunity to tell everybody who is crying and, you know, have no hope, give them hope, tell them about Jesus' coming, save them, you know, give them the salvation prayer, just pray with them, in other words, pray with them, just a very simple prayer. If you have no experience in it, that's okay. Just tell them to repeat after you, Lord Jesus, I want you to be my Savior. Forgive my sins. I forgive everyone and I thank you, Lord. And that's enough. He's looking at the heart. He's not worried about fancy words. None of us can do that. So please, oh God, please just don't crush. Know that he's coming, even if he's not coming on the second or the third or the fourth. It's very possible. Maybe this is not going to be a very long time, but certainly the rapture is following the day of the Lord. We don't know. One of the two. It's not going to go behind it. That is for sure. So be ready. And repent, 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 because... Gosh, this is so serious. You know, I was I was in the joy when I dealt with some revelation I got, and I just got so probably I felt important that I don't know something something was wrong with me because I said to the Lord, I said to the Lord, Lord, I know you won't leave me here, and He said, What makes you say that? Or I'm like what? And yes, yes, that's hypocrisy. That's the same as that Pharisee was, you know, oh, I pay my tithes, I know I'm right with you. I know I pray, I do the ordinances, I do everything right. And then came the tax collector who just was, I know I'm a sinner, oh my God, Lord, just have mercy on me. 
And then the Lord said, which do you think will enter the kingdom? So let's, let's just examine our ways. Let's just run the last, last leg of a race. I just want to run and don't stop to bring the last souls in. And just be prepared to leave this world. In other words, every attachment to the world, you will you'll be willing to let go. Let go of it all. All your favorite toys, your equipments, your video game, your TV, your whatever you do, your little idols that you wouldn't want to let go. Let it go. God made me let go everything he had me that was back before I left to this wilderness experience. He led me, he told me to clean up my house. And I, I had to clean up everything that was worldly, not sinful and not evil, just worldly. And I had to put it into the dumpster. And I kept one manila folder, which was a very thin with a couple of articles about aloe vera, because I was into natural healing and I haven't read those articles yet, wanted to keep it. And I crouched down on the evening at 7.30 to my um, desk and I said, Lord, I finished. I was so tired because I was going it all day long. And he said, no, you haven't. And then he had me to that manila folder into the trash, into the dumpster. Because, see, that meant I still want to hang on to a little thread which is connecting me to this world. And if I want to do that, I cannot go into the kingdom. You must not go. I didn't have the time to do the series on the um, on entering the kingdom. Okay, there is a four visions or five visions of the season. Only put up one, but the first one is ex addressing exactly that. What does that take for people to enter the kingdom? Please look for that in my video playlist. The next thing I want to, I have to talk about because the human nature says it's not going to happen to me. We all are convinced that somebody else will die and not me. I mean, it's just human nature. And we don't let our mind extend to what if I die. But what if we die tomorrow? So let this night be the night of repentance. Let this night be the night of purification of your soul going before the Lord. I finish this video and the one I promised behind it and then I'm done. I will not come back and make another video until the Lord precisely tells me, tell them. Because, you know, I could keep going on forever. This is my gift. I'm a teacher of the Word. But now it's not the time for this. Now it's the time for solitude. And really cut off everything and understand that we are standing at, at the door of eternity. Because according to prophecy, 30 million people will die. I'm not so good anymore with med that I could quickly give you the percentage. It's not very much, but still a lot. So, yes, we just, and, and much of it will be in the United States with these coast tsunamis and, and the earthquakes. So please forgive me that I bring this up. I mean, I certainly pray for you that you will be kept and your family members and nobody will perish. But just let let this evening be given to the Lord in total communion with Him. Maybe fast, maybe pray, maybe just consecrate yourself and I will do the same. When we enter the kingdom, we still are ourselves. Nothing changes. It's just continue where we left off. It's just a million times better. It's just a different quality of life. But we are not going there because we because we want a better life we are going there because we love the lord and we want to serve him and if you don't know him of course you cannot love him but if you will know him there is love on the first sight for all of us so just give him a chance please don't be smart for your own destruction okay i love you all so much see you in heaven I hope, Lord, have mercy on us. Lord.